Just over 2,000 people call Knightstown, Indiana home. The small downtown is adorable. It makes a nice day trip kind of destination all on its own. But it is a 1986 movie, Hoosiers, that made it famous. The Hoosier Gym, also located downtown, set the scene for the film with its 1950s style. Yes, the gym has been mostly untouched since the 1950s. Well taken care of, it is a community center and a popular event venue. Browse the movie memorabilia in the lobby, walk into the locker room where many movie scenes were filmed, and shoot some hoops before you leave. Back in 1921, the community raised funds to build a gym. In order to help pay for the costs associated with having a large space, they had professional basketball teams and college players to form their own local teams. In 1932, funds from the WPA, the Federal Works Progress Administration, were used for additions, including the basement locker rooms. In 1966, the gym was closed. The gym sat until something wonderful happened, the 1985 filming of the movie Hoosiers. Released in 1986, it brought the gym back into the limelight. To see the gym really hopping, pop in during the annual Hoosiers Reunion All-Star Classic, a doubleheader composed of the top Indiana high school seniors. But if shopping is more your speed, take a look at Glass Cupboard Antiques. There are 5,000 square feet of vendor booths to sort through. It is easy to navigate, which is no easy feat with all the nooks and crannies in this shop. Vintage book lovers will especially love it. It isn't the only great place to browse. You can find gift items and fresh flowers at the Ivy Wreath Floral and Gifts. It is a wonderful place to browse. During our visit, a magician was there shopping. I guess maybe everyone finds it a bit magical. Don't miss the homemade food at Knight's Town Diner. Not only do they have some of the best homemade fries in the entire state, and I should know, but they serve up a perfect pork tenderloin sandwich. Portions are big, but try to save some room. That dessert case is always full of freshly prepared treats. We saw four kinds of pies on our visit in addition to other sweet offerings. You will not leave hungry. What a great place to spend the day. Read more about Knightstown, Indiana at www.littleindiana.com. Small towns, destinations, not drive throughs I'm Jessica Nunemaker, and this is Little Indiana.